Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have shared an affectionate photo of them together on their new joint Instagram as they asked fans to stop sending gifts for their new baby and donate to charity instead. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recommended charities which fans could support instead of buying presents for their first child, who is due in the next few weeks. In the second post on their new account, which was launched on Tuesday and already has 4 million followers, the couple said they were immensely grateful for the outpouring of love and support in anticipation of the birth of their first child. But they added, in lieu of sending gifts, the couple have long planned to encourage members of the public to make donations to select charities for children and parents in need. If you already made a donation, the couple send you their greatest thanks. If you are thinking about it, they ask that you kindly consider the following organizations they've selected. The pair recommended four charities which fans could support, the Lunchbox Fund, which works to provide a daily meal for impoverished children in South Africa, Little Village HQ, which provides clothes and equipment for children under 5, Well Child, which tries to get ill children out of hospital and back home, and Baby to Baby, which tries to provide necessities for children up to 12 years old. Since the post was published yesterday afternoon, one of the named charities said they had been completely overwhelmed by the response from fans. Little Village, which was founded in 2016, have seen their Instagram followers jump by more than 1,000 to nearly 3,000 since the Royal Post. Chief Executive Sophia Parker said, We've been completely astounded by the response we've received since being mentioned on the Duke and Duchess Instagram account. We've received messages and donations from as far afield as Australia, Texas, and Hong Kong. It's fantastic to think that people across the world appreciate our work. We're a very small charity, so support like this is crucial. We often see families whose babies are being forced to sleep on cushions on the floor and children with shoes two sizes too small. We support families by providing clothing for their children, safe places for them to sleep and toys and books to help them thrive. We receive no public funding so are reliant on donations and the generosity of the public, every penny really does count," she added. According to a list of official gifts presented to the royal family in 2018, Harry and Meghan's new baby has already received more than 90 soft toys, 19 teddy bears, a pair of wellies and 15 baby vests. Baby milestone cards were also among the gifts, as well as hats and dungarees. Last month, some other favorite charities of the royal couple were inundated with donations after Twitter campaign hashtag Global Sussex Baby Shower encouraged fans to support Meghan's causes. Fans of Meghan, 37, celebrated the upcoming birth of Baby Sussex with the hashtag and asked one another to share donations or other items with charities associated with the Duchess of Sussex. Charities including the Mayhew, an animal welfare charity, and Kampft, which works to educate girls in rural Africa, were among those that received donations from the campaign. After the Twitter campaign took off Kampft posted on social media to say they were floored by the response to the campaign, writing, you made our year. Harry and Meghan recently went for some relaxation time ahead of their child's arrival by going on a lavish three-night £33,000 baby moon at a five-star Hampshire hotel. The couple stayed at the five-star Heckfield Place Hotel in Hook, Hampshire, which is an 18th-century Georgian mansion and a favorite among celebrities. They booked out the most expensive apartment which for £10,000 a night boasts its own dining room and private terraces. In November last year, Harry and Meghan announced that they will be moving to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, despite their 21-bedroom apartment in Kensington Palace recently being renovated for £1.4 million. It was previously thought they would take a spacious main apartment inside the palace in preparation for the imminent arrival of their baby. The Queen has gifted Harry and Meghan Frogmore Cottage, which will also need to undergo major building work and a multi-million pound revamp to transform it from staff accommodation to a family home. On Friday, the royal family hit back at claims that the monarch had banned the Duchess of Sussex from wearing some of the priceless items from her own private collection. A palace insider had reportedly claimed priceless items from Her Majesty's private collection, which are loaned at her discretion 
would not be made available to Meghan. But a Buckingham Palace insider rubbished the claims, telling Mail Online that the Queen still lends her jewellery to the Duchess of Sussex, including the headpiece she wore at her wedding in May. Meghan also wore a pair of pearl earrings gifted to her by the Queen during her first joint engagement with the monarch last June.